Hi there, I'm Kevin Mitchell and this is a brief update on our work into non-line of sight and multipath imaging conducted by the Extreme Light Group in association with Quantic. Imaging by echolocation, the phenomenon by which dolphins and bats achieve situational awareness has been adapted for use in radar and more recently LIDAR technologies. This principle extends to the case of objects around corners in non-line of sight imaging whereby a light-in-flight technique is employed using a pulse laser and SPAD detector to discern between time-resolved histograms to build a 3D image of obscured scenes. These examples require detector arrays or scanning to capture the direction of the incoming wavelets. If we can switch to single-shot, single-pixel detection, we have the potential for 3D imaging devices which are faster, cheaper and more portable. However, Time resolving using a single pixel is a strongly ill-posed problem. Since the pixel can only discern objects by their distance, any one point of the histogram can be attributed to a spherical spread of locations. Our solution to this problem is to unlock a priori information about a given scene and the objects we expect to image by training an artificial neural network. A commercial time-of-flight camera is used to record ground-truth 3D images which are paired with their single-pixel histograms. Over several thousand pairs, the network learns how to interpret these histograms in 3D space. We've recently observed a phenomenon whereby reflections from the floor and walls produce additional spikes in the histograms which are information-rich. If reflection 1 is from the object itself, then a further four reflections revealing information of different angles of the object can be exploited. This is akin to seeing yourself from multiple angles in a hall of mirrors. Our work suggests that multipath imaging by the more reflective radar and acoustic waves is more capable than its optical counterpart. To date, we've demonstrated 3D imaging from a single pixel using three regimes, optical, radar and acoustic. Each regime uses a commercial 3D time-of-flight camera in training the neural network. In the optical setup, a pulse laser and single photon avalanche diode, or SPAD, are the means for illumination and detection respectively. In our most recent works, we've switched to using a credit card sized radar emitter and receiver, and even had success in demonstrating the same principle with a cheap desktop speaker and microphone. As can be seen on the right hand side, we're able to reconstruct simple scenes in real time after training using the time of flight camera, resulting in single shot 3D images from single pixels in three different regimes. The automated transport sector is constantly innovating to incorporate 360 degree situational awareness. We envisage cars of the future having a multitude of high-speed, low-resolution detection systems which learn from their environment. Imagine camera networks in hospitals, prisons, even in the home, which could continuously monitor only our presence and interpret our behaviour statistically over long timescales. Our daily movement becomes a vital sign worth analysing. Portability and wavelength flexibility also promotes the use of these devices in challenging conditions where there are obstructions and dangers such as search and rescue. Lastly, the situational awareness achieved may compensate for other senses. For example, augmented reality gloves may be used to relay the position of obstacles through a haptic response, which could prove useful for deaf-blind people. Thanks for watching. For more information, please get in touch with us in the Extreme Light Group. Thank you.